I'm speaking about top tips for T-SQL writing and performance. I'm teaching you how to write them better. I'm teaching you how to write them neater. I'm teaching you how to write them well. I'm also teaching you some of the common mistakes people make that cause performance hits on the system. Doing it all in one session, it's a great set of tips. It'll really help, I promise. Some of the things I'm telling people to do better in T-SQL is I'm telling them to, one, come up with a standard and follow it. Use a good naming convention and follow it. Avoid silly things like non-sargeable arguments, um, you know, using SP underscore, um, other stuff like that. It's just simple things, little low-hanging fruit that screws everything up that you can avoid. All right, here's the thing. Um, a lot of people were asking a lot of good questions. The crowd was fantastic. We had a lot of great interaction. People were commenting on the things that were, you know, that were said, they had good questions. A lot of people were unhappy with me telling them they can't use no lock as the run faster hint. And um, it, we got a lot of good feedback. It was really good. Um, there were good, good questions, good comments. The interactivity was fantastic and people really seemed like they learned stuff and had a good time. The one thing I think everybody learned before they left was don't use the no lock hint for, as a run faster switch for SQL Server because it works. Because it does actually make a, MES does make queries run faster, but it does it at a cost. You actually lose data or gain data unknown when or where, and people didn't know that. So that little bit of information was new for them. I got involved in SQL Server many, many, many years ago as a consultant. Uh, I was doing a lot of development back then. I I'm, I'm, came from a full-on development background. I didn't become a DBA until I was working for a dot-com as a developer, and uh, we lost our DBA, and within a few weeks we had all kinds of problems in the database, and I started listing them all out, kicked the door into my boss's office and said, here's what you need to fix, here's the order you need to fix it in, when do we get a DBA? And his response to me was, well, which of those are you going to do first? And I was a DBA from that point forward. The SQL Saturday Silicon Valley event was fantastic. We've got over 400 people all in the same room interacting with each other, interacting with MVPs, interacting with Microsoft employees, networking, learning, all at the same time. These guys are having a blast. We've got a women in technology section, uh, session going on. You just missed it. That's all I can say. It's great. It's an amazing event. It's going off well. Good food, good times, good people, and great, great T-SQL learning.